Hello everybody and welcome back to our video series about the maintenance of wind instruments. We hope you all are safe and enjoy playing your musical instruments. My name is Alexei, I'm a technician at the Orchestral Instruments Service Department Yamaha Music Gal. And today I would like to share with you some basic knowledge about maintenance and handling of the saxophones. As you know, the instrument has a complex structure and repair services should only be done by qualified technicians. But there are some actions that you can do yourself to keep your saxophone in good condition. By doing regular maintenance, you will take care of your health and be able to prolong the life of your instrument before it will need a major repair. Given the current circumstances, I would like to highlight a few points that should be taken into consideration to safely enjoy playing your saxophone. Avoid sharing your instrument or at least other equipment like the mouthpiece, the ligature, the reed and maintenance items. Don't use any chemicals such as liquid bleach to clean your instrument, as it may damage your saxophone. If it would be necessary, use ethanol to clean the surface of the instrument. Apply it to the cloth and then gently wipe the instrument with it. Don't use ethanol on hard rubber mouthpieces, as this may cause discoloration. If you want to wash the mouthpiece, don't use hot water, as it can damage the mouthpiece as well. I also recommend you to use Yamaha mouthpiece cleaner that has a cleansing effect to help maintain cleanliness. And finally, don't forget to wash your hands regularly and especially after playing. Be aware, the storage of wind instruments and any extreme conditions of temperature or humidity will have an adverse effect on your instrument. When taking the instrument out of its case, hold the instrument with both hands. Because of the weight of the main body, especially on tenor or baritone saxophones, pulling the instrument out just by the bell may lead to misalignment of the keys of the low register, and this will affect your sound. To assemble the mouthpiece and saxophone neck, use cork grease to avoid damaging the cork part. Be careful with the tenor saxophone neck. It's easy to bend due to its length if you use too much force. The saxophone neck has a metal-to-metal -metal connection to the body of the instrument. Don't apply any grease here because grease collects dirt. Before assembling the instrument, wipe off any dust or other dirt from the neck tenon and its socket using appropriate maintenance goods. It will prevent any damages to the instrument due to foreign solid matter which collects on the surfaces and makes assembly difficult. While assembling, don't apply unnecessary pressure on the key mechanism. Pay attention to the neck octave key as it's easy to bend it or damage the saxophone neck. After lining the neck, don't over-tighten the neck screw to avoid damaging this part. If you feel the neck tenon is too loose or too tight, visit your local repair technician to check the instrument. Moisture is a major factor that can cause problems for wind instruments. The pads are the most sensitive parts of the instrument. The materials are exposed to a regular cycle of wetting and drying, and as a result, the pads wear out over time, losing flexibility and softness. Therefore, the most important task in daily care for woodwind instruments is moisture removal. After playing the instrument, thoroughly remove moisture from the inside of the instrument using appropriate maintenance material. First, remove the reed and place it into a reed guard or a humidity-controlled reed case. Don't leave the reed on your mouthpiece. Clean the neck cork removing cork grease with a polishing gauze. To remove moisture, use a cleaning swab that are supplied in various sizes. For the mouthpiece and the neck, use S-size swab. Make sure the swab is completely unfolded before using it. To remove moisture from the inside of the saxophone body, you can use cleaning swab for saxophones or cleaning swab monster type. The type of instrument for which it is applicable is indicated on the product. You can also use Yamaha saxophone maintenance kit that includes all necessary maintenance goods for saxophones. Before pulling the swab through your instrument, carefully check it for nuts. A nut may cause the swab to get stuck. Carefully start lowering the weighted end of the swab into your instrument. While holding the cloth, 
Turn the instrument upside down so the weighted end of the spring comes out of the neck joint. Slowly begin pulling the swab from the weighted end and make sure the swab doesn't bunch together. Repeat this procedure several times to completely remove moisture. On the baritone saxophones, moisture tends to build up inside the crook top of the instrument that may affect the sound during the performance. An installed water key allows to drain moisture from this part. To remove moisture inside the cooked part, use a cleaning swap monster type for baritone saxophones. Don't leave the mouthpiece and neck assembled. This will adversely affect the cork material. Clean each part separately. Always keep your cleaning swaps for saxophone washed and clean. Avoid using fabric softener for washing. Keep items separately and never place them with the instrument because it may create a very humid environment inside the case. If you find that some pads are wet after playing, remove moisture with cleaning paper. Place a piece of cleaning paper between a pad and corresponding tone hole. Absorb moisture by pressing a key lightly several times, changing the position of paper. If you feel the pads are still sticky after absorbing moisture with cleaning paper, use the powder paper to remove stickiness. There are some recommendations to avoid sticky pads. Avoid using sugary drinks or food before and during playing. Rinse your mouth out with water before start playing on the instrument. And always place the instrument on the stand during a break. Before putting the instrument in the case, gently wipe the saxophone with a polishing cloth, removing fingerprints and any dirt from the surface of the instrument. Be careful, don't press the keys too strong and don't touch the pads, this may damage them, shorten their usable life and also affect your performance quality. If it's necessary, you can use silver or lacquer polishes on the respective finishes. Use them carefully and don't apply them on the pads or tone holes. Discoloration in its early stage can be removed easily. You can prevent it by proper and regular care of the instrument surface. Another important point is to regularly clean the octave vent tube, which is small and easily clogged, resulting in bad intonation of the instrument. For this, you can use Yamaha Tone Hole Cleaner. It can also be used to remove dirt and small dust particles that are accumulated between keys. Be careful not to damage the pads or dislodge the springs. Never forget to place the end plug back before putting the instrument in the case. It will protect the octave key pin from damage when the instrument is in its case and help to keep the neck socket clean. Don't over-tighten the neck screw, as it may deform the neck socket even when the plug is inserted. I hope you enjoy learning how to care of your valuable saxophone. If you're interested in video series about flute maintenance, check the link below in the info box. For more information about maintenance and products, visit us at yamaha.com. Thanks for watching, stay tuned, and I will see you back here soon.